Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Trinity and I'm telling you guys another story. This is gonna be about how my roommate almost poisoned me. I could have died. I could have died. There wouldn't have been no Trinity J. There wouldn't have been no YouTube. I don't even know if it was intentional or not, but you guys be the judge at the end of the story and let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. You know you want to. So this was in college and I was living with three other girls. This was in an apartment. This wasn't even near the camp. Campus. This was an apartment that was way out there. I was getting back to the apartment after going to class and I was thirsty. You know how I know I was thirsty because I remember this story so well and because it was a hot day. It was a really hot day. I was thirsty. I'm looking through the kitchen and I find out like we don't have anything to drink in here. There's nothing in the fridge. There's no milk. I can drink milk by itself. There's no juice. There's no orange juice. There's no apple juice. There's no fruit punch. There's no soda. There's nothing. And I'm so thirsty. I'm so parched. And I'm thinking, you you know maybe some of my roommates have a little something in their room you know how some roommates don't really like people taking their things so they put it in their room or they may have like a small fridge in their room so I was just like you know let me go ahead and see if they can you know cop me one of those little juices in the fridge and they secret fridge and by the way because I know some of you are gonna be like well why why didn't you just get water well I didn't feel like getting water if I wanted water then I would have got water but I didn't want water I wanted something else like when you're thirsty and you're just, you just want to taste in your mouth. You just want something that danced down your throat. Went and knocked on my roommate's door. I only had one roommate there at the moment. The one that I think didn't like me. So she was in her room and since I knew she was there, I'm like, well, let me go ahead and ask her. I'm, I'm not a prideful person. If I need something, if I want something, I'm gonna, I'm going to ask you for it. It's not that big of a deal to me. Plus, I didn't have anything against her. I think she had something against me. You know, the vibes were just kind of, just kind of off. Knock on her door and I'm like, hey, do you have any drink in your room? We don't have any drink out here. I'm really thirsty. You know, I'll pay you back. And she's like, no, I don't have anything. And I'm like, okay. I'm like okay no problem thanks and I went about my merry way back into the kitchen and I'm still thirsty of course and I'm just like you know what maybe I can find some Kool-Aid all of this happened within about five minutes so it wasn't like a long situation up to this point it was really like five minutes I literally walked into the door and immediately was just like wait we need something to drink I'm thirsty let me go over here and see if she has something and then I came back to the kitchen so I'm in the kitchen just looking through everything man this this was like the broke down college student days it was around that time where I was eating noodles like every day noodles and crackers I'll wait till Sunday to go to my parents and have Sunday dinner I'll wait I'll starve so I'm looking through the cabinets, trying to find something. And y'all, I found one pack of this green Kool-Aid. And I was so happy because I'm just like, you know what? We got sugar. Get the pitcher, get the sugar. You know, I start making it. I finished making the Kool-Aid and I made it with cold water. Not hot water, duh. I made it with cold water just so I can drink it and at least enjoy it. I'm now in the cabinets trying to look for a glass or a paper cup or a plastic cup and I couldn't find one. Now I could have been trifling. I could have been trifling and just took that picture and gulped it down like my own. But I'm not the type of person. I'm trying to be mindful of others. So I thought for a couple of a couple of seconds I was like oh you know I think I got a water bottle in my room so I go to my room and I find a water bottle not this big but a water bottle I have the water bottle and I you know threw back the rest of the little water that was splashing on in there and I went back into the kitchen and I filled up my water bottle with the kool-aid didn't even think didn't even take time to even catch my breath I killed that kool-aid <laughs> I didn't drink all of it, but um, I finished one bottle of Kool-Aid and then I poured another one <laughs> and I finished half of that. <laughs> so the only thing that was left in my water bottle was like a little bit, not a lot, just, just a little bit. And I sat it on the counter and I went back into my room. I'm sure I was like doing some type of homework or I don't know, I don't know what I was doing. Maybe watching YouTube videos, maybe watching YouTube videos. But yeah, I was good, I was happy. I mean, the thirst was real and I quenched 
my thirst. Go back out into the kitchen and I take my water bottle and I actually pour a little bit more Kool-Aid in the water bottle. And then I went back into my room. And eventually I grabbed my water bottle and I opened it up and I smelled a little bit of something. It didn't quite smell right. It did not smell right. And I was about to go in for it. Like, when I'm thirsty, you guys, I don't I don't do the whole commercialized slow-mo. Oh, yeah. Not gonna think about it going down my throat. I'm just gonna drink it. You know what I'm saying? It's like a drink now, figure out what you're drinking later type of thing. And I didn't drink it. Thank God I didn't drink it because I started to smell it. And I was just like, wait, this don't really smell right. This don't smell sweet, it smells deadly. What is this? I got up and I went back out into the kitchen and my other roommate was there. She was like, what's wrong with you? And I said, girl, this something's wrong, something's up in my Kool-Aid. She said that so-and-so, the other roommate, she saw her pour something into a water bottle that was green. Oh, hell no! Bro. So I walk right down to the hall to confront this roommate. I was gonna confront her about it just to figure out, hey, like, what what is your motives? What What is this about? I knock on her door and she answers the door and I'm like, uh, hey, so, so-and-so said that you poured something in my water bottle. She tells me, oh no, I didn't pour anything in your water bottle. I didn't do anything to your water bottle. I'm like, uh, well, I put Kool-Aid in it and this ain't a, oh yeah, this is a, oh no, you know? There's something in here, there's something in here. And I told her, I said, you wanna smell it? Cause you can smell it. You can smell it, girl, you can smell it. What did, what did you put in a water? bottle because so-and-so of the roommate she saw you put something in the water bottle so you did you caught a lion in my face point I'm ready to knock her out to be honest like I'm ready to lay hands on her because I mean you're lying like you you're telling me that you didn't pour anything in my water bottle but somebody saw you pour something in my water bottle she says oh yeah, ha, 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 ha. I did pour something in a water bottle. She grabs this water bottle that has green liquid in it. Now she said, Oh, maybe I must have got it mixed up with your Kool-Aid. <laughs> Point, I have a million questions. I have a million and one questions for this chick. Cause I'm just like, how, how did, how did you get it mixed up with my Kool-Aid? Did you already have a water bottle that already had cleaning products in it? Cause it, it was a cleaning product by the way. And I must say it did look similar to the green Kool-Aid that I made, but still like how, how did that happen? How did you see a water bottle on the counter and not think that it was somebody else's. She basically, she basically told me I took the wrong bottle. I never grabbed the bottle that had my Kool-Aid in it the second time. When I came back out there to grab my bottle on the counter, it was already filled with cleaning products and it was only like a little bit in there, the same amount that I left in there, which was even more awkward. She was just like, oh, it was an accident. I didn't know. Oh, I thought this, I thought that. And I'm just like, like, nah, I'm not trying to go out like that. No, Trinity J dies accidentally from being poisoned by her roommate. No, it, it don't sound right. I ain't going out like that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even go on a trip because I didn't drink it. I didn't die. But you know what? I was just kind of like, I'm gonna keep my eye on you. I, I'm gonna keep my eye on you. I know a few people that have put cleaning products in water bottles. I mean, not everybody does it. I don't witness it like every day. It's not something that I do, but I know a lot of people do it if they don't wanna use a certain amount or um, it doesn't have that spray top. But let me know what you think below. Do you think she did this on purpose, accidentally? But that is all, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to click the thumbs up button, which is going to of course be below, where it always is. And I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.